Robux is known for pushing out some questionable games on the recommended page, but there have been a lot of games that are being hidden behind the shadows that no one unfortunately plays. And I'm going to showcase some of the greatest and most incredible games that have flown under the radar and deserve more respect. The first game we got on our list is a game that makes Murder Mystery look like a mess, as this game truly took the Murder Mystery franchise to the next level, as we have Murder Royale. In this game, you have one murderer, one sheriff, and 48 innocents. However, once a murderer or sheriff gets killed, a random innocent will take over their role and get to be the main role. This game also has murderer and sheriff clues, which you can collect around the dozens of maps the game has to offer. But across multiple game modes the game has to offer, this game also has a 1v1 mode, where if you get killed, you are able to face each other in a gulag, where the winner will be able to re-enter the round and get a second chance to win it all. This is one of the most unique murder mystery games that only averages around 200 players, and has truly been an underrated Roblox game that you all should play. But on Roblox, the number one thing that gets players to make games is inspiration. And this next game takes Luigi's Mansion and turns it into something amazing. As the next game shows that Roblox developers can truly make anything work. As we have Ghostly Manor, which is a multiplayer co-op game where you explore through the different levels of the haunted houses, where you have to navigate yourself through the different monsters that are inside of the house. You can also collect tons of money that have been displayed throughout the game. Overall, this game has been one of the coolest games I've ever seen. And with only 300,000 visits at the time of me recording this, I highly believe that this game will finally get the recognition it deserves. Now, one of the most popular minigames the Roblox community loves is the last to leave the Circle games, as they have completely fulfilled all of our childhoods and have created some amazing moments. But out of all those games, this one is by far the greatest last to leave game on Roblox that doesn't get enough credit and that belongs to The Circle by Kirby's Ass. This is the most polished and recently updated version of a last to leave game, as it has some of the most insane features I've ever seen for a Roblox game. Instead of losing health for doing something wrong, Kirby has added a percentage system, where if you take any damage, your percentage will go up, which will increase your chances to randomly ragdoll, which makes the game more intense. This game has been one of my personal favorites, and it definitely deserves to have more players. And with only zero people playing it, you guys should start playing this game alongside me. One of the oldest themes Roblox developers have used is the survival games, and most importantly, disaster survival games. But out of all the games, this one has flown under the radar more than all the others, as we have survived the end of Roblox by Caden Zombie 8. This was an inspired game made by the original game known as Survive the End of Classic Roblox, made by The Amaze Man, as it was a sci-fi game where you have to be risky around disasters and have to survive as long as you can. You can also receive gear which will help you survive some of the crazy disasters the game has to offer. And overall, this game has always been under everyone's recommended and has averaged 200 players every single day, which I personally believe it needs to be more because it is one of my personal favorites. But now it's time to finally give the 13 plus games some recognition as we have those who remain. This is a horror survival game where you have to survive endless waves of infected zombies while looting for items to keep you and your friends alive. Over the seven years that this game has been created, it has only averaged more than 700 players at a time, which is very unfortunate because this is one of the most incredible games I have ever played. And overall, this game 100% deserves to get more players because it's one, if not, the greatest horror survival game on Roblox. But with amazing adventures comes amazing gameplay, as this next game has created something truly amazing. Welcome to Northwind which is a role-play survival adventure game centered around colonizing the city of Quebec. It has some of the most beautiful landscape a Roblox dev team has ever built, with magnificent mountains, rivers, caves, and settlements for you to explore. You can also earn pounds by completing vendor quests, hunting criminals for their bounties, and trading with other players. This game, despite being 13 plus, has not gotten the recognition it deserves. And overall, this game truly defines what a Roblox game should look like. Roblox Brick Battle Games is one of the most classic genres 
Roblox has ever had. And this next game truly stepped it up for a very special genre. As we have Combat Initiation, which is a fast paced arena game that puts you in a max group of six players against all varying threats standing in your way. With all your seven granted branching weapons to choose from, you can blaze through every army as you seek to reach the top of the world. Overall, this is currently one of my favorite games to play on the platform. And hopefully by watching this video, you guys enjoy the games just as much as I do. Now, onto one of the most interesting games on the platform, which is known as Rex Reincarnated, which is a sandbox mining game about finding rare and stunning ores, ranging from one in 25 to chances in the hundreds of millions. There are tons of pickaxes, all with unique abilities, such as creating explosions, shooting projectiles, or converting beams of light to mine all the blocks inside of the game. Overall, this game does have a little bit of recognition as it has averaged more than 800 players at a time. But for one of the best sandbox mining games on the platform, it definitely deserves to be in this video and all of you guys should play it. Watching Stupid Storm's video on Roblox games. By the way, please subscribe to him. He makes incredible videos and you guys should watch them. And also, if you want, subscribe to me. But one of the games a lot of people talk about is known as Randomly Generated Droids, which is a sword fighting style game where every run is different from the last, as you have to face several different droids as you continuously get stronger. Overall, this game is an all out classic. And even though it averages 300 to 400 players every single day, it is still a game that sadly no one wants to play. And personally, this game definitely deserves the recognition from you guys. So please, if you can, play. but on to, in my opinion, the most underrated Roblox game in this video, as we have Super Scuffle. Super Scuffle is a cartoony free-for-all fighting arena inspired by classic PvP games like Sword Fights on the Heights, but also has a feel of a Nintendo style game. You have to find many weapons, buy handy items, and explore a beautiful cartoony world. And you have to beat your friends or enemies with your own hands. Overall, this game only averages 50 players a day which in my personal opinion is absolutely ridiculous and is one of the best games on the platform. But as much as these 10 games are truly incredible, there are so many games out there that are still not getting recognized. So if this video gets 2000 likes, I will make another version of this video with, with all of your guys' suggestions. So comment below what I missed out on and until then, I'm out, peace.